hello everyone welcome back to our channel we are back again with a new video so today's video is based on seven pandas trick that will make you a data wizard so panda is the swiss army knife of data analysis but most user only use their basics so hidden inside pandas are dozens of powerful tricks that can save hours of coding simplify transformations and make your jupyter notebook workflow lightning fast so here we'll understand seven panda trick that will turn you into a true data wizard so we'll start this by the first one so the first one is so the first one is use assign to create multiple columns cleanly so instead of adding new columns one by one assign lets you create multiples derived columns in a single chainable statement so let's see it how so for that firstly we'll import pandas and now we'll create a data frame okay so this is the data frame we created and here we are defining the columns so here we have defined the columns and at last we'll print the data frame and now we'll see the output so here we can see the output it keeps your code clean and chainable avoiding multiple columns and lines and now we'll see the second one so the second one is use query for sql style filtering so now we'll see the second one so now for this we'll create the data frame first so we'll define the city for the data frame and now we'll define the temperature and at last we print the data frame and now we'll see the output so here we can see the filtered output it reads almost like sql select rows where temperature is greater than 15 and city is not room so it filtered and gave us the output which is ideal for quick and clean filtering and so now we'll move to the third one which is use explode to split list into rows so if a column contain list explode converts each list element into a new row automatically so let's see so for that firstly we'll create a data frame so this is the data frame we created in the list and now we'll use the explode here so here we use explode in each list inside the column fruits become multiple rows the index repeats the expanded rows so let's see the output so this is super useful and when working with the data that has multiple values per cell like tags keywords or nested JSONs. so now we'll move on to the fourth one so the fourth one is use value counts which is normalized for percentages so this quickly finds category proportion instead of raw count so let's start this so for this also firstly we'll create the data frame so this is the data frame we created and now we'll print this so here value counts counts occurrence of each category and adding normalize is equals to true converts the result into percentage so we'll see its output so here we can see the output it is great for seeing class balance proportion or categorical distributions quickly and now we'll move to the fifth one which is to use n largest and n smallest for quick rankings this instantly finds the top or bottom n rows by the column values no sorting required so for this also we'll create the data frame So this is the data frame we created and here n largest 2 and score returns the top 2 rows with the highest scores and similarly n smallest get the lowest one. So let's see the output. So here we can see the output. This is much faster and simpler than sorting and slicing manually. So the sixth one is to use melt to reshape white data into long format. So this makes your data set tidy ideal for plotting statistical analysis. So let's see this. So for this also we'll create the data frame first. 
So here this is the simple data frame we created with name, subject and marks and now we'll print this by using the melted one. So this melt converts wide format into long format and ID was this columns to keep fixed and where name and value name named new columns. And now we'll see the output. So as you can see the output it is perfect when preparing data for Seaborn or Plotly charts. And for the last one is use style to highlight data dynamically. So for this also we'll create a simple data frame. So this is the data frame we created here. So as you know this style makes data frames more visual in Jupyter. So we'll use this and now we'll see the output. Here you can see dot highlight max and dot highlight min and background gradient also. So as you can see the output these styles don't modify the data it just how it displayed. So Mastering these 7 pandas trick can save your hours of work and make you analyze pipelines cleaner and faster for more professional work. So if you really learned something from this video, do like, share, subscribe for more python tutorials and thanks for watching today's video.